What's that on the front page of the National Post? A big story about members of parliament taking another pay raise on April 1. Yeah, you heard that right. On the very same day that members of parliament take more money out of your pocket, they'll be stuffing more money into their own with another raise. So after April 1, let's look at what the salaries are going to be. So Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's salary will be just over 406000 bucks. A minister and the official opposition leader, their salary will be just shy of $300,000. And a backbench member of parliament, along with collecting dust in the House of Commons, will be collecting a taxpayer-funded salary just over $200,000. Now, this year's pay raise alone will range from a little bit more than $8,000 for a backbencher all the way up to $17,000 extra for Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Now, let's read one more quote, hey? Right here, MPs don't deserve raises. I could have said that better myself. And now also kudos to the National Post who did a bunch of digging and found that after this year's raise on April 1, MPs will be the second best paid in the world. In the world. How is that, folks? And not only that, but this will be their fifth pay raise since the beginning of 2020. So what has happened since 2020? Well, for Canadians struggling through lockdowns, pandemics, job losses, businesses closing their doors, sky high inflation, a housing crisis, food banks seeing record lineups. That didn't matter. That didn't stop MPs. They gave themselves raises every single year. Again, folks, April 1, carbon tax up, alcohol tax up, and you guessed it, NP pay also going up. And the most frustrating part about all of this, I mean, there's a lot of frustrating parts, but how about this one? We haven't heard a single member of parliament from any political party forcefully try to stop the um, upcoming pay raise. So when you hear them say, we're all in this together, they're not talking about me. They're not talking about you. They're talking about the gang of 338 of them up here in Ottawa. So folks, if you want to learn more, two places you can go. Well, one, check out the front page story on the National Post about the upcoming member of parliament pay raise or... Hey, head over to taxpayer.com and sign the petition to stop the MP pay rate.